video, I'm going to explain to you what is stay stitching. I've got a, just a sample piece of a bodice. And stay stitching is just a stitch that you want to sew in an area that you don't want to get stressed. Because of handling fabric, fabric has a tendency to stretch. But if you do a stay stitch, then it holds that fabric. Uh, it stops that area from stretching. Generally in sewing, you would sew a 5 8 inch seam allowance. But when you're doing a stay stitch, you want to stitch just inside of your stitching line because you don't want the stay stitch to show because the stay stitch is pretty, pretty much permanent. So normally a stay stitch is anywhere from 3 8 to a half of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a 3 8 stay stitch. And I'm using a contrast thread to show you what that would look like. Here is the stay stitch. My stay stitch seam is about 3 8 of an inch and if I sew my sewing to connect my collar or the finish off I would do a 5 8 and as you see the 5 8 will fall just below the 3 8 and this prevents the your garment from being stretched out of shape in this area. Other areas you would do a stay stitch is as if you were doing a skirt the waistline area of the skirt that curves, you don't want that to stretch out of shape. So the blue marker here represents the stay stitch. As I mentioned, the v-neck also, you want to stay stitch the v-neck because this is one area that would really get stretched out of shape. So you would stay stitch that. As well as stay stitching the armholes. And that would hold, keep the armhole shape. And finally, also, you want to stay stitch on your facings, so this would be your neck facing, so you want to stay stitch the neck face, as well as if you were doing a V shape, you want to stay stitch the shape of the V of the facing for your top. So I hope this has been helpful on stay stitching, and I hope that you try this. Happy sewing!